Despite the earthquake, it turned out to be a terrific weekend for IndyCar racing in wine country, but the race wasn't the only attraction. Of course, wine is always front and center. On Friday before the race, Dan went to see how the racing industry and the wine business came together perfectly. When open wheel racing comes to wine country, it's a synthesis of two separate but similar worlds, high speed motorsports competition and high cultured living. Great food, great wine, fast cars, you know, it's got it all in one spot. Two legendary names for motorsports, Hoyt and Andretti, are distinguishing themselves in the wine business. The common theme, everyone loves to come to Sonoma. It's a fantastic place, the setting is awesome, and uh, it works out perfect for us, you know, when we race over here in Sonoma, and uh, our sponsors love coming out here for the events that we have. Well, I think everybody gets excited to come to Sonoma. You know, it's a beautiful area. It's, uh, what a fantastic venue for a race. The Sonoma Racetrack is gorgeous. They do a great job there of building a first-class facility, and, uh, and we get to have a lot of fun. How did the two legends get involved in the wine business? For A.J. Foyt, it probably goes back to when he and Dan Gurney invented the champagne spray after winning at Le Mans in 1967. Well, we won the race and had a big champagne bath. Dan got up there and I think he wanted Henry Ford to get all champagne over. And so that's how it all started. We both were laughing about it. He said, I'm going to spray them all down. So that's how it started. For Andretti, the path to wine was a bit more traditional. It started back when he retired, um, back in 94, I think it was. Uh, they did a special wine and then he really got into it and then they ended up purchasing uh, this place here and uh, then it just snowballed from there. Aside from the Indianapolis 500, the race in Sonoma is the most important for sponsors. Of course, there was a lot of talk about racing too. Once you've been in racing, you always want to win and you know, we've been kind of had a bad season this year, but I think that motivates me more than anything to get back on top, because I've been up and down on that ladder like a yo-yo a lot more than I've been on the bottom, so then you just work that much harder to get back on top, and I think that's what really motivates me. Yes, IndyCar racing belongs in wine country. Two of the greatest names, Foyt and Andretti, make sure of it. I'm Dan Rusinowski for Comcast Sportsnet.